All right, news that we are breaking to you here at this hour. Around 3,500 resident doctors from across Karnataka are on a strike today, demanding the, that the government release the promised COVID allowance to them and also reduce the fee for residents who were posted only on COVID duty last year. Neha Hibale joining us live with more inputs. Yes, Neha, if you can take us through the details in this case. 3,500 resident doctors from across Karnataka, we are told, are on strike. What are their grievances? Well, that's right, Afrida. In fact, this was a protest called by the Karnataka Association of Resident Doctors over here. Um, right now in Bengaluru City, you can actually see how, in fact, all of these doctors have boycotted their elective services today. They've boycotted their elective OPDs as well. And more importantly, they've decided that they're only going to attend to the emergency cases today. What's important over here is that the doctors, in fact, you know, actually have some demands. And uh, these demands actually, you know, of course, uh, include right now uh, uh, you know, the payment of their uh, COVID risk allowance that was promised to them by the Karnataka government. Apart from that, it also, in fact, you know, includes uh, the reduction of the fees as well. And, uh, you know, the, because uh, essentially last year, since all of these resident doctors were on COVID duty, uh, none of them could, you know, really, of course, actually attend to their academic um, uh, duties. So I'm going to quickly take this to one of the doctors over here and understand from her. If you can just help us understand for how long has this risk allowance been pending? What is the government saying? You've tried holding talks with the government on occasions like uh, from past 18 months we are doing uh, involving ourselves in the covid duties we are risking ourselves in the past 18 months but the government official order was passed in the month of may till today nothing has been done no risk allowances the funds is not released from the government side and we now not even a single penny has reached our hands so regarding this we have approached the ministers the our respectable cem and medical education minister five to six times but still the no response from the government side okay, and so one of the the doctors earlier said there was a blame game being played between the two departments, between the finance department, the college management as well. Yeah, when we have approached the authorities, they said the uh, loans will be given from the college funds. When we are uh, re uh, I mean, uh, reaching out to our college authorities, the college authorities, the final answer remains no funds from the government. Okay. So where are we supposed to do? We are stuck in between. We are in midway between. Now, now neither the government is helping us nor the college is helping us. Only thing they are doing is uh, posting us to the duties and making us work. That is what they are doing. All right. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Well, Afrida, it was loud and clear here. The government, in fact, you know, playing uh, games over here with the lives of the doctors is what they're saying. Uh, Interdepartmental blame game over here and in which, in fact, it is the doctors, the resident doctors who've come under the crossfire, not being paid their stipends.